Parents of young children, listen up. A highly anticipated new study finds a diet that includes peanuts in the first year of life may greatly reduce the chance of developing peanut allergies later in childhood. Joining us now with analysis is Allergy and Asthma Care of New York Medical Director, Dr. Clifford Bassett. Dr. Bassett, thanks so much for being with us. Great to be with you. Dr. Bassett, the study's results are quite stark, looking at 640 children at risk of developing an allergy. Of those who were not given peanuts until age five, over 17% developed an allergy. Now compare this to just over 3% of the children who regularly ate peanuts. That's an 80% reduction in peanut allergies. Do these findings surprise you? Absolutely. It's a fantastic result that they came up in this very important and pivotal study. Peanut allergies are on the rise. Two percent of the U.S. have peanut allergies. It's important to realize it's on the rise not only here in the U.S. but throughout the world. A doubling and in some studies a quadrupling of peanut allergy over the last couple of decades. Well, so it's a very important study in terms of how do parents, particularly parents uh, of young children and also people that are cons want to have children, how do they approach the problem if they have a history of allergies in the family? And this very important study published in the New England Journal of Medicine that we're discussing right now gives us a completely different picture on the best ways to perhaps prevent peanut allergies. I have to tell you, as a parent of a child with a mild nut allergy, I personally find this news so frustrating because when Silas was a baby, the recommendation was the opposite. We were told babies should not be given nuts till at least a year old. Could that policy have inadvertently increased the numbers of children who now have nut allergies? Well, it's so very important that we do these studies really to provide real-world information. And again, bottom line, if you have a child with a peanut allergy, and it's uh, not a newborn, obviously, you need to consult with an allergist who's an expert in preventing reducing risk and educating you. But as you just said, allergists alike have family members and newborns. And we've also been avoiding high-risk situations in kids who have a family history of eczema and allergy in terms of reducing their exposure mm -hmm. to peanuts. So what we're learning now, it's almost like the Woody Allen movie. It's the opposites approach. Exactly. We're learning in this study, and they were really striked, even the study authors, that there was greater 80% reduction in peanut allergy incidents in families where they actually provided peanut allergy at an early time. And again, speak with your pediatrician what is the right time to introduce solid foods and peanut foods. We also know in Israel, where they introduce peanuts very early in a diet, the incidence of peanut allergy may be 10 times lower than in countries such as United Kingdom and Australia uh, from other studies that have previously been done. So the take home message is, if you have a family history of allergy, speak with your pediatrician, work with an allergist to get the great information, and more studies are on the way. But it is a revolutionary change, and it's a landmark study in showing that early exposure to peanuts is probably protective and beneficial for many individuals, particularly those who have a family history of allergy. Well, this study was done in the UK. Will American pediatricians be up to speed on these new recommendations? I think the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology is at the forefront in trying to great, get this great information to pediatricians throughout the country. And their own uh, academy, the American Academy of Pediatrics, will obviously be looking at this study and trying to make appropriate revisions in recommendations. Now, not but the future. The time is here, and we need to do a better job in preventing food allergies. Again, Absolutely. peanut allergy is on the rise. It's a scary allergy. It's associated with the most life-threatening reactions of other foods. We need to get this right, and we need to educate our families and our parents of uh, children and future children. Absolutely, Doctor. As you've been saying, peanut allergies are among the most common causes of food allergies in children. And while some people do outgrow peanut allergies, for about 80 percent of people, these allergies are are lifelong. So how do you think this study could help treat those who have existing allergies? Do you think there's any use for it there? The bottom line is if you have a bona fide food allergy and it's been confirmed by a board certified allergist who is properly trained in evaluating, you need to manage the condition. My food allergy pyramid, education, reading labels when it says may contain, it's no joke. It may contain a peanut or another allergen that could be a serious cause of a reaction. When you eat out in restaurants, have a chef card with you. Have an EpiPen auto injector. Be prepared for emergencies because they do occur, particularly among teenagers. They may take chances or take risks. They need to be educated as well. And the importance of this condition is since there's no specific cure, it's all about prevention, education, and being prepared. And that's what I do every day here in my office in New York City. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Bassett, for your analysis of this exciting new study. Thank you for that.